right, Hongo Pogo, Phoenix, Sasquatch, Slash Bigfoot, Chupacabra, Nightcrawler, Mothman, Thunderbird, Cthulhu, Jersey Devils, Night Moon back there, Yeti, and Loch Ness Monsters up on the right. So. Yeah, those are a lot of fun. I love the designs on those little guys. Thank you. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. You want to do like Littlest Pet Shop meets Famous Monsters. Of course, that's perfect. Uh, that's cool. They all come in the blind boxes and the little live shipment inside the box, and they all come with cards which have illustrations on the front of them, says whether they like day or nighttime. And if you flip over on the back, it kind of gives you a little bit of a bio, what they like to eat, where they're from. This yeah. guy likes hugs, this guy is <laughs> allergic to peanuts, that kind of thing. Oh wow, that's awesome. Uh, we're also doing a digital launch of these on our app that we partner with called Quid, mm -hmm. uh, which is like a digital trading card app. So you can already collect stickers, trading cards, and digital figures of the Kripkins. It's got like 100,000 active users every day. Oh wow. Some of the sets are already sold out. Really? Oh, that's so cool. So now that they like, they start collecting this stuff in other rooms. Oh man, those physical ones start getting those gifts too. So we're hoping that pans out. Awesome. And there cool. are, and on the app, there's already part for series two, some for series three in there. Oh, so sweet. We're planning on continuing this in a big bad way. I think. Excellent. Those are a lot of fun. Cool. Obviously, Bombshell series two. Yep. We saw those last year. Yep. Prototypes here. Right. Um, they're available now. Um, I don't know why 2.5. That's okay. Um, 2.5 is not happening anymore. Um, but 1.5 is below it, which is kind of repaints of Series 1. Okay, but gotcha. They're all, um, I think I talked to you about this at the same time. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, they're all inspired by either comic book histories of those characters or you know, things like that. Like Batwoman's colors are reversed because it's her away jersey. Oh, uh, yeah, that's very cool. Awesome. Uh, Street Fighters were debuted in San Diego where we talked. Yep. A little bit. There's a bit of a preview for Series 2. Series 2 back there, yep. And the big one for Littles for us, besides Kripkins, is Series 3. Yeah, these are cool. You got some guys in there, too. Yes, finally have males in the assortment. Uh, we realized that Batman, there was a 7-inch Batman that we had tried to put out, and people had placed orders for it, but unfortunately we just couldn't make the numbers work, so oh. we canceled, but we wanted to give them something of Batman, so we put him into this assortment. I was like, oh, screw it, let's just more guys into this. Right, that's cool. So, and I, of all the times to do a mustache Superman, no time like the present, right? Right, there it is. <laughs> That's so cool. I want to have, uh, originally my chase variant idea was going to be just the normal Superman, all the paint house, but the mustache just isn't painted. Yeah, oh, that's hilarious. I like it. I like it. I still it. might do it. Yeah. So we'll uh, this will be the first time that there are 12 unique sculpts in it, however. Oh, okay. So the two chase variants are Black Canary and Batwoman, which are from Series 1. Uh huh. So now, usually there's 10 figures, 2 repaints for the Series chase. Right. And now there's 12 unique figures in every assortment. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Awesome. Those are great. And these are backpack clips, which are 2 inch versions of the Series 1 figures. It's kind of a greatest hits. You know, it'll come in blind, four ninety nine, and uh, two chase variants with that as well. It'll be out for back to school this year. Oh, that's perfect. Those are cool. I like those. Yeah, we'll go top down. Top down. Yeah. That cape variant is our exclusive, which I think is one that you have. Yeah. So take a pre-order for it right now. Still, and it'll start to deliver in late, mid to late March. Okay. And then the retail version will come without the cape, and then there'll be a couple variants at various retailers. I know Hot Topic's gonna have one, maybe even GameStop. Uh, the black and white sketch one will go to Man Expo. Okay. Conventions. Right. So, and then Harley Quinn, this is the classic edition. Yeah, uh, classic outfit, I like it. Us, based on the Bruce Tim original appearance. Uh, just a solid looking figure. We're kind of hoping that we can get to do more core versions of characters. I mean, maybe we'll one of them next time, you know, like Catwoman. Something like that. Right. Obviously, Carly is the one that sells the most. Yeah. And her of 25th course. anniversary just happened, so we felt that was the appropriate time to bring her back. Very cool. And then I know, I know you want to talk about this one. Yeah. So go to that one yep, first. I saw it. <laughs> yeah. So, this is our Gal Gadot Wonder Woman. Uh, it's our first foray into a little bit more realism and some accessories as well. So, I'm a big action figure and statue guy, so I love having some customization in there. So the shields and the swords will swap out, so the, the handles on the swords will just pop right off. If you see on the back there, there's hooks on the hand, on the, uh, the strap, you can hook the shields onto the back. Oh, that's neat. That is cool. 
and then this is sort of the legacy stuff. Obviously, these are the variants that we've done before from Series 1 and Series 2, but then, of course, the big deal is Series 3. Yeah. Which is coming. This is so, um, obviously, Mara coming out of the movie this year. Um, I'm just a big Black Canary fan, so she's in there. Of course. And Harley sells the most, so of course, Harley gets another redo. But what's fun about that one is that I'm going to do my best to get real fish nets on that figure. Oh, on the canary? I'm going to try. Nice. I'm going to really try. That'll be nice. So let the record show if I ultimately can't put real fish nets on there, let everyone know that <laughs> you I really tried. did my you best. You really tried, yeah. Yes. <laughs> So I'm finally hitting the regionals now and kind of picking up speed a little bit. Um, and their shoes, I'll say it again, their shoes that are inspired by the big, the characters, not necessarily ones that they would wear. Right. So like the, the heel in Wonder Woman is the is clear for the invisible jet. The lasso is the strap. You know, Black Canary has fishnets on her figure. Uh, Catwoman's got the pearls. Batgirl has the utility belt, and so on. Uh, all blind steel. Uh, it really resonates, I guess, with a lot of like. Collectors. Yeah. That's what I've been told by a lot of retailers. Really? Yeah. I think they're great. The designs are super fun on those. Thank you. Yeah. Most people are very surprised. Yeah. When they find two, find out two burly dudes design those. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. But at the same time, no man, no woman ever designed high heels. Right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. So Tiki's, which you're very familiar with. Yes, well. the Tiki's are very cool. So these are the this is the first wave, and then below is the second wave. Which has got my favorite character. Two faces. Yeah. Favorite character. All right. Cool. Yeah. I, knew I liked you. Yeah. <laughs> so, originally, we had planned on putting Cyborg in there. Really? Like, you know what? No. I'm a Two Face guy. Two Face was born for this format. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I like it. Put him in there. I also like the. Yeah, the coin is great, and I kind of like he's got like the animated series kind of inspired colors. Yeah, yeah I'm that's an great. Series kid. Yeah, so the only Two Face for me. That's great. Um, and obviously Aquaman, Poison Ivy, Flash, Catwoman. They'll be it'll be wave two. So with Tiki's, we're not going to take away the core figures that people want, like Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. We're just going to expand. The oh, roster okay. When we go into production. So right now the, the display has just the five characters, but as soon as wave two starts hitting, we'll have those five characters in addition to the new ones. So the roster is just going to keep getting bigger. Oh, that's great. That's great. Uh, Very cool. And then the Hula Girls. Some of our one of our best selling figures is the Harley Quinn Hula Girl. <laughs> that's so cool. And so we figured it was time to do a dashboard version. So on your car. Perfect. That'll be coming a little bit later this year. There's some early concepts for other ones coming up after that. So cool. And I think we've, show, we've shown some of these before. Yep. This is a little bit of legacy stuff. The Batmobiles. But then the big reveal for these hands is the Batman hands. Yeah. Which will be coming next year. So cool. I loved the Joker one too. It's yeah. so cool. It, I, that was a really nice reveal you guys did to that one. Oh, cool. So cool. I really I'm glad. That one. Uh, the Harley will be coming this year. We'll have an exclusive for San Diego, and then it'll be through retailers a little bit later also. Okay, great. It's uh, so a fantastic. Mugshot bust. So Catwoman and Joker will be coming a little bit later. Joker probably this year. Catwoman maybe next. Uh, we had Harley Quinn reissue just came out in February because the first one sold out in like a month at oh, Diamond. Wow. So we had a lot of unfilled orders, so we went with the second edition. Here. Oh, that's nice. So a little bit of a little bit of hair dye and some graffiti. Yeah, these are gorgeous. I love these. The sculpts are fantastic on this. And that's by that Gene Saint. Gene, yeah, that's great. Awesome. Cool. So it was like Gotham City Garage. Obviously, it's a three hundred dollars statue for DC collectors. Right. So it's a little bit hard to to pay into. Yeah. First time collector. So similar to Bombshells, where there was a hundred and twenty five dollars statue. It's kind of hard to buy into. Try to go try and make a twenty nine ninety nine vinyl. Give somebody a little piece of the Gotham City Garage. But not that much. Money. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, those designs are awesome, so that's pretty cool to see them translated over. It's great. And this is our own concept. This is a rockabilly version of Harley Quinn. Oh, okay. The tattoos, and I think we can expand the line into more rockabilly versions. Yeah. Now, you know, whereas the bombshells is 40s inspired, we're hoping that we can do kind of a modern day pinup with the rockabillies. Cool. I like it. So, and then down here, we're always going to show you the big reveal. Make sure the camera's on there. Got it. Whoa! He, 
Vision Superman, so this is a deluxe Tiki. Come in a window box with some light up features. Um, we'll have other figures that light up like Batman with light up eyes, things like that. The oh, idea is that cool. they're all still stackable, but they only just light up and they look a little bit nicer. Right. Right. A little bit taller, a little more substantial. Oh, that's cool. And same with the pumps. So deluxe versions of the pumps. We'll come in a window box, a little bit nicer paint ops, really ni like nicer. Uh, you can really see that invisible heat. Oh, yeah. That way. That's cool. Catwoman's goggles actually work. There's lenses in there. Things like that. So they'll come in a window box. You get the one that you want, and it looks a little bit nicer on your shelf sometimes. So cool. For the premium collector. Yeah. Not, I realize that blind boxes aren't for everybody. So. Okay. Excellent. So Golden Goddess is Series 2. Obviously, Series 1 sold out in like a half an hour last year. Right. So yeah. continuing that trend with Series 2, the Golden Goddesses. As well as a Linda Carter version of the Golden Goddess. Awesome. I haven't decided what show this will be at yet. Okay. More than likely New York, but we'll see. Okay. Just cool. gotta find the right place to put it. She's ready to go, we just gotta decide. Just decide which go. convention, okay. Exactly. So, also at San Diego, we'll have the Golden Goddess Chun Li. And uh, the black one is available on Hot Topic right now. Oh, okay. We're gonna go into Littles. So, uh, Ravishing Red Supergirl for WonderCon, Ravishing Red Wonder Woman for San Diego, and then Halloween Batgirl for New York. It's over, yeah, perfect. Uh, and I know you're a comic book guy, so I'll tell you this fun fact. I'm a huge Red Sun Superman fan. Oh, so yeah. So both of those are inspired by the Red Sun costumes. Nice. You can't necessarily call them Red Sun. Right. But for people who know, it's right. very obvious. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Awesome. And the Tiki's will have some exclusives as well. Uh-huh. Uh, Night Wonder Woman, City and Idol Batman, and the Ruby Red Harley. Cool. Those are neat. Ruby Idol. Ruby Idol. Okay. And then, continuing what we did with the Street Fighter exclusives, with the red metallic Ryu from New York Comic Con, Chun-Li will be at WonderCon. Both Blanca and Cami will be in San Diego, and then Akuma will be at New York. Awesome. So, um, you can actually, I don't know if you can do it now, but you'll be able to start pre-ordering for pickup all of the exclusives for WonderCon within the next week or so. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's great. So, actually, uh, we'll have some exclusive Kripkins nice. as well at every show. So, you can actually pre-order the exclusive Chupacabra right now if you're going to be at WonderCon. Awesome. And then there's also exclusive pumps, too. That one was from last year, so it's okay. But, so, there's a golden black... Harley Quinn for WonderCon, the Batwoman variant for San Diego, and then Leopard Quinn Catwoman for that, New York Comic Con. That's cool. Um, and then we have an extremely ravenous and dedicated fan base at, with Outlander. Oh, okay. It's one of our best selling licenses in terms of trading cards. They, out, they basically, every set we do for them basically outsells everything else that is available at that show. Oh, really? These women drive for 400 miles. <laughs> To come get our trading cards. Wow. It's ridiculous. So, uh, this is the Outlander Jamie Fraser figure. It'll be exclusive through us, it'll be available online. Um, this pose is affectionately called by the fan base Scotch on the Rocks. <laughs> so, oh, that's it awesome. inspired us to change the packaging to a more Scotch like box. Oh, that's so perfect. So, that gold foil and spot varnish and so on and so forth. Excellent. Yeah. That's awesome. Kind of, this is a game. It's a game. Yeah, so that's the entire box. Wow. The whole game fits inside the pickle. And it's 12 inches for those who are asking. <laughs> so it comes with the two unpainted minis. All of the tiles, the dice, and the instruction books will come inside the pickle. We'll have a clear kickstand in the back so you can display them on your shelf just like that. Uh, it's a uh, it's kind of an exploration isometric type game where you lay down tiles. One person plays as Pickle Rick, he's trying to escape. One person plays as the Russians and Jaguar, and you're trying to stop Pickle Rick. Oh, wow. So there's a tile with the entrance, a tile with the exit, and you got to try and find a way to lay down tiles as you try and escape. That's awesome. This will probably be around Comic Con. Comic Con time. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. 
Stay up to date with Pixel Dan at Toy Fair. Follow at Pixel Dan on Twitter or forward slash Pixel Dan on YouTube.com. Thanks for tuning in to your premier source for all things toys, Pixel Dan. See you again.